there and welcome to Zero to Hero, my ultimate road to glory, and today is going to be a weekend league special. Well then guys, it is time on Zero to Hero on my road to glory to unlock the 100k pack, the second one, and to say I'm nervous is a very big understatement to be honest. One more game, I should have this done, need to score, need to, well yeah, score 39 goals with an assist, so this should be done. Also, should be done with this soon, so in 20 games, should be um, completed with that. Let's get this one done, and I can't wait to have this completed, man. It's a grind, hopefully it pays off. Also, some more players have sold. We've made profit on each player. Brandt has sold for 12, sorry, 13.7. We bought him for 12.5, I believe, yesterday. Every single player here, guys, had sold for a profit. Hernandez, their profit, I mean... Everyone's profit, guys. We bought Tamori for 700 coins, guys, on the market. Incredible work here on the RTG. Let's go. 39 goals, right? Then we've got a 100k pack. Then I can finally sell, like, Jordi Alba and stuff, man. I can't wait. We've got it done. Yes. We have it completed, guys. 100k pack completed. Here we go. Go. Here we are. The music is banging right now. We have the assist mastery complete. That is for a 100k pack. We've also nearly got the 50k pack. Here, ready to go. Thank you, uh, Keenan there, man, for the recent man. Tier 1, what a guy. Legendary lad. Right. 100k pack is raring to go. Oh, this is emotional. 500 assists, guys. I spent about probably an hour and a half today. Getting this done prior to the stream and, you know, during the stream as well. So, um, to say I'm nervous, guys, is an absolute understatement. Will this be worth it? Matty G, welcome to the club, guys. 100k pack. Can we get our first walkout on zero to hero? Yes! Yes! First walkout. Brazilian. Goalkeeper. Yes! First walkout, guys of the series we finally get a walkout on the rtg yes yes oh look at that dance let's get it edison guys oh my god first walkout of the series finally we get one in like the 13th episode or 14th episode guys oh my god finally i've got someone and to be fair, it's a dormitory in the same pack. Two walkouts in one pack. FIFA Myth, guys. 100k pack. We get two walkouts in the same one. This guy really wanted to be the first player, didn't he? Two walkouts in a pack, man. That's a huge pack pull. Yeah, any uh, good... I mean, Porto's decent. Bernard's decent. That is a banging pack, to be fair, guys. A Dharma as well. Honestly, guys, that's a dub. Huge dubs. Edison is 50k on the market. Sommer is 10k. Adama Traore is probably like 17. Oh, he's more. That's a really good 100k pack. 30k for Adama Traore. That's huge, guys. We also get these players, as always. You know, make sure you guys are obviously um, selling, you know, these cards. And just get some more coin. That's a really, really great pack. Boateng guys as well. And again, yeah, that's what? Maybe 3k just chilling there maybe if they're tradable? Yeah, there you go. That's huge, guys. From grinding squad battles, that's paid off. Oh my god. So after that really lucky 100k pack, guys, I thought to myself, you know what? Weekend League is about to commence, right? If you didn't know, it's about to start in literally one day and 19 hours. So we will be building my Weekend League team at some point today for the next episode. I'm really very intrigued to do that. So, with that being said though, right, with my 100k pack now being opened, with the objective being complete in the assists uh, category there, we can now look to sell, for example, Jordi Alba. He was only bought for the purpose, guys, of the objective, right? When I did this objective, I thought to myself, who was like maybe 85, 86 rated? Who could, get a, who could get my team to 85 rating? This was the guy. I did buy him for 34.7. And... To my thrill, he's got up in price. Even more coins here, guys, on the RTG, man. That's sick. Let's go. So, 40... 
I think about 45k he should sell for. No matter what, we've made about 10k profit and we have hardly tried their guys to even um, make profit on him. Like I just bought him kind of unknowingly that he's going to go up to in price by that much. So 10k um, profit there. Um, also, I mean, looking at the team, right? These are players that I'm not ready yet to build my weekend league team. So to be honest, I'm going to sell even more players you guys get. A lot more coins here for my first weekend league team. Bernardo Silva is amazing. However, for now, we'll sell him for hopefully maybe a bit of profit there. We might not, we might not even make much there, to be fair, guys. But I'll try and sell him for like 20.2, if that, give or take. We shall then sell Felipe Anderson. Here's a guy I'm definitely probably not going to use in my weekend league team. As he just isn't really the level i want him to be at in terms of my squad right i want a better left winger maybe someone like say maximin could be the play i might lose yeah i've lost profit on him obviously with um with that sale rodri as well again only really bought for the 85 rated squad challenge so he can probably go for about 10k on the transfer market there again coins lost but with Jordi alba selling for like was it 45k I mean, it's going to even out eventually. We also packed Manolas. Oh, no, we didn't. Hold on. Did I, did I not pack? Oh, we did pack Manolas. Let's go. Tradable Manolas. Again, I won't need him now. He's not going to be my weekend league team. So that is another, what, 13k in the bank there, guys, on zero tier. I'd say that's awesome, man. So we can sell um, Manolas maybe for that. And yeah, I know. I keep saying, oh... My last is from uh, Uruguay. Sorry, um, yeah, Uruguay. I'm going to pack him and keep uh, doing on the stream. Anyway, uh, that meme is alive, guys, and well, it really is. We packed Luis Suarez last week, and I literally said, oh, the Greek legend. But normally it's a meme. It's a joke, right? It wasn't a joke. I actually got it wrong again. Anyway, um, going to sell Katini there, guys. I think for about maybe 8K. And again, coins lost, but I mean, with all the trading we're doing right now, we're going to make a lot more coin this week thanks to some amazing new trading methods. Jimenez, we shall sell for probably some coins. Again, profit here, guys. So again, we should even out by the end of the day. So 6K there on the market. Bought him for 3.3. I'll sell him for a quick sale there of like 5.5. He should go for that. Handanovic, again, we bought for the objective, right? And maybe a big tip for you guys. Don't keep hold of these players if you're not going to use them. I'd always advise you guys to sell these players ahead of the weekend league. Also, player prices will rise again, I think, most likely towards, um, obviously, the first weekend league day, which is Friday. So keep track of your players, guys, as best as you can right now on the market because a lot of them might be rising and you might not even know, right? Anyway, Handanovic, we should get some profit there, maybe 4 to 5k. So again, we might make profit overall. Um, in DD, I haven't got any use for him on my team. He's 30k. That's exactly what I mean. Guys, it's like episode 13 of the series, and we can sell Ndidi for this price. That's absolutely crazy. I didn't realize he was tradable in my club. 28k. We'll get him on the market right now. Rui Patricio, I will not use at all. Will he be popular? 4k? Again, man, it's all adding up, isn't it, guys? We might be getting like a 600k team by the end of today. Um, they are the players there. Bellerin, I don't think. I'll give him a contract. Why not? Bellerin, I think, is tradable. We bought him for 8k. He might... Oh, he's gone down in price. Wow. To be fair, a player like Bellerin might rise a bit towards weekend leagues to so keep track of his price, guys, as well, for sure. But for me, I'm, I mean, looking at the card, I'll try and sell for that. I don't think we'll go for that I'll start at that price, but we'll try it. Right. Paulinho as well should hopefully... Oh, he's untradable. That's actually fine. Right. That's actually decent, man. So the main squad is looking... Still, to be honest, like it's going to be an amazing squad once to start building the weekend league team, right? Paulinho can go on the bench. That should be fine. I, in fact, I need to get this guy in my club, get Huang He Chan in my bench as a super sub, and that can be that can probably be my bench for weekend league, to be honest. Thiago Silva can obviously go. I mean, I don't really want him as a super sub, as a defender. Always have like a mixture, guys, of defenders, midfielders, and strikers, or even wingers or forwards. When um, you're doing your like, yeah, your um, your like weekend league team, have a bench that makes sense. Don't just have like goalkeepers and stuff, or maybe too many loan cards, right? Ericsson for me can probably go. I probably need like a winger, um, form a bench, right, to come on, maybe make an impact. I mean, Porto seems pretty decent. That'd be okay for now. Ribery might not be a bad shout. Right, well, there you go. 
there is my bench done. We should have sold some players here, guys, already. I think we have. So if we go into the transfer list, right, we have already sold Patricio, Coutinho there. Um, they have sold. All of these players have to sell, right? So what, 45k, 65, 75, 70, maybe 80, 85 Guys, we're, we're going to make a lot of coins on this video today, man. This, that's a madness. Fakir, we did buy for 7k. Oh, he's going to price a bit. Let's go. That actually paid off. Oh, wow. So we got Fakir for 7k, guys. He might go for that today. I'll see if we can sell his card for like 8.8. .8. Again, profit, right? You're looking for those easy profits. So with that being said, with all of these players still to sell, we should be at about the 550k, maybe 600k mark. So any ideas, guys, regarding my first weekend league team on Zero Tira, do let me know. Also, a bit of a weird question. Trying to figure out what is the best time for you guys watching this series. And let me know if you want to like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m. maybe. Let me know. Still trying to figure out what is best to um, be on the channel right now in terms of the uh, timings. But anyway, in regards to weekend league, I know a lot of you guys have been asking what players to get. I've got a list here of different categories of prices, right? I figured out that, to be honest, if we've all got division rival rewards, we've all had division rival placement rewards, if you guys have been trading, like I've told you guys to, with the trading tips to give me on the series, I think a lot of us probably have maybe 100k coins at least, 150k with rival placement rewards. And even, even so, even if you've got less, guys, this can help you out, right? I'm going to show you a different... Bit of a different list of weekend league players here that you could defo try out for your ultimate team on FIFA 21, right? You've got to take this into consideration that these are players that are overpowered. These are players that are really good for their price, and they are really, really great. So, first up is, unfortunately, Marcos Lorente, who has named his dog Anfield, guys, which you can probably guess why he did that. Um, but yeah, this guy's price right now is about 18 to 21k on the market. Really fantastic player in game with those stats. Great stamina, great, I mean, decent finishing, to be fair, for a center mid, right? G brilliant sprint speed, 88 sprint speed. Also, bit of a tip as well, always look for the weakness on your cards, right? For example, Marcos Lorente right there, guys, has 69 balance. So you definitely want to give him the engine chemistry style to get his balance and agility up there into the 80s at least. So always look out for those weaknesses. I wouldn't really focus on jumping, for example, too much because you don't really notice it as much as maybe balance. So always look out for what chemistry style to use towards um, that kind of lower stat on their card, right? So Marcos Lorente is the first one there, guys. Definitely look out for him on the market if you can. And again, if you've got the 100k budget, man, you could definitely build a great La Liga team this FIFA. Lorente, you get Gene centre-back, you could get... Um, I mean, when he goes down in price, Valverde, but for now, Aspas, Morales, Porto is good at right wing. I mean, there's so many good options this year, guys, in La Liga. It's a stunning league to go into. Reyna Lodi is amazing as well, left back. Anyway, from Marcos Lorente, we go to an even cheaper player on the market who is lovely if you have a Bundesliga squad, if you have a cheap team. This guy could be a brilliant super sub if you haven't completed his ones to watch SBC already. I don't know what you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, guys. Seriously, you need to try and get that card done. I mean, four-star weak foot, great pace there. 70 finishing. If you give him like a dead-eye chemistry style, guys, he'll get like, what, 92, maybe 93 finishing, I believe, in-game. Agility is fantastic. And with the new secret skill boost that we have found this week, guys, I will be bringing that to you maybe tonight on YouTube. you got to use that agility, man, when you can. Like, agility in this game is absolutely insane. I cannot stress enough, guys, how important agility is in FIFA 21. Try and learn R1 dribbling. I'm using it right now on most players, but agile players like, you know, Dembele, Mares, Bernardo Silva. Obviously, I've been lucky enough to pack Pele, like, what, last week? I'm, I'm using R1 dribbling so much in him as well. Give it a try, guys. You won't, um, you won't, what am I trying to say? You won't miss out, basically. It's insane how overpowered R1 dribbling is, guys, in this game. So, Huang He Chan, brilliant super sub for Weekend League. Alan St. Maximin is unbelievable in this game. Guys, you know one of those cards that you look at, you're like, oh my god, his dribbling stats are insane. Everything else is pretty great. I mean, his acceleration sprint speed is phenomenal. His shot power is good for that kind of rated card. I don't know, his finishing isn't great, but give him like a Deadeye style. Get him near to 80 finishing. 
You will thank me later. This card is absolutely unbelievable. One of the most incredibly fun cards that you guys can pick up on the market for your ultimate team. He's insane. He's expensive, so maybe if you have that bigger kind of price budget with maybe 300k, give this guy a try. Guys, he's absolutely fantastic. Alan Sim Maxim in this game. Moving on, though, to another player that you might want to try out in Weekend League. And for the cheaper option there is Rashika. Really, really underrated card in this game, guys. Use him yesterday on the road, on the road to glory as like a tester. He's fantastic. Definitely give him a try. 5'10 there, high work rate. Four star, four star. Really brilliant and sensational stats there as well, guys. Like in last all game, agility 90 as well. Again, R1 dribbling, guys. Get get learning R1 dribbling. Moving on though, we're gonna go to another player who is amazing again this FIFA. It is Bernardo Silva. Very similar to last year. Is all I'll say. Really, really similar in terms of his dribbling style there with 94 agility. I mean, look at those dribbling stats, guys. Dribbling is one of the most important aspects of any forwards um, stats this FIFA. Really solid finishing there, good acceleration, can burst into the box, and it's just stunning, man. Give him the right chemistry style, guys. You'll be laughing. Moving on, we're going to go to a maybe different player because, yes, his dribbling does suck, but in terms of when you're in the box, the guy doesn't miss. Really brilliant. I know a lot of you guys might be like, oh, my God, Matt, Lukaku, Haaland, maybe some other players who are a bit clunky to use. If you get used to their style and play to their strengths. Don't try and dribble with Erling Haaland or Lukaku, right? That's what, what that's where people really go wrong when they use these kind of cards. They don't use the player to their strengths, right? You've got to be physical with a player like Lukaku. You know, get in a 1v1 situation with a defender, hold L2 to jockey and um, to really shrug off the defender, right? Use Lukaku's strength of 95. Get in the box with him. Just do through balls to Lukaku, guys. He'll get there. And aid six finishing, he will not miss. Inaki Williams is a very interesting one, guys, because he's one of those cards that, on the base of it, you wouldn't think that card looks insane, right? But in-game, this guy is devastating, man, especially as, like, a late super sub. He could be a brilliant player for you in your weekend league in this uh, come, upcoming weekend league. Marola, similar card, to be fair, to Inaki Williams in terms of stats. So, Great card to bring on again. Like, send fifth minute, guys. If you're struggling, maybe one change formation to have two strikers up top. Bring on Morales or Inaki Williams. We then go to Dries Mertens. This guy is fabulous. He's that great, to be honest. I might be getting him in my first weekend league team. He is honestly so insane in this game. Hopefully, these different price brackets are helping you guys out figure out what weekend league players to use because this guy, his finesse shots are devastating. Everything about this card screams world-class in Ultimate Team in this game. He's always amazing, even though he got a downgrade of minus two. Guys, his card is as good as last FIFA. He's seriously insane. And with R1 dribbling being incredibly just unbelievable in this game, get dribbling with this Mertens card, guys. He's insane in Ultimate Team. We then move on to Memphis Depay again. Bit of a similar playstyle to Mertens, although his dribbling, in my opinion, should be better. Like, I feel like his dribbling guy should be like at least 88. I don't get why his dribbling isn't better, but still, really, really well-rounded card there. Great passing, and uh, overall, just a really stunning, well-rounded striker in Lee Gun. And they have it, guys. There are some very useful, hopefully, players that you might want to try. Also, there are more, actually. Rodrigo. Oh, my God. How could I forget this guy? If you've got, like, a Premier League team... Even like a main Premier League team, this might be the most overpowered striker in FIFA 21. That's a big statement, I know, because I've used players like Aspas, I've used players like... Who else is great? I mean, who else is amazing for you so far who's like insane? Mertens is overpowered, Jesus Christ. Rodrigo for the Premier League, guys, is cracked. This card is unreal. There's a reason why he's like, what price is he right now? I think he's about 40, yeah, 40k, give or take, so... Definitely look at the price of these cards. Please do keep track of these cards if you have them in your club as well. Like on the run up to the first weekend league. Like don't forget that the weekend league will rise in price um, for the market. Uh, but yeah, Rodrigo guys, unbelievably brilliant card in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Um, his finishing in game is nuts. He feels like an 86 rated striker, guys, does Rodrigo. He's unreal in this game. He's also like a good option. If you haven't got the coins, maybe for like Vardy or um, obviously Timo Werner, Sergio Aguero, try a play like Rodrigo, guys. You might thank me on that one because he's so clinical. Honestly, every time I've come up against Rodrigo in Division 2, the guy scores. 
every time, no matter what level skill the player in playing is, Rodrigo can seem to find a way to score. He feels absolutely insane. And make sure, by the way, obviously you're buying the striker version. Alex Teixeira, a great option, guys. Again, if you've got like a budget weekend league team, maybe looking for like 6K kind of striker, this guy might be your man, especially with that finishing start, especially with a stamina of 87. Stamina, man, people honestly really overlook stamina. Always try and get a striker or like any kind of player, right, who's got like at least, what, 73, 4, 75 stamina. Please do look out for that. Alex Texiera could be your go-to cheap striker. And finally, Renato Sanchez in form. The amount of pro players that are raving about this inform card right now, guys, is unreal. I cannot underestimate how insane this card is going to be in FIFA 21. I think they've all said, to be honest, um, that Renato Sanchez does feel like an 87 rate centre mid with those stats. Amazing stats all around. Can even score, man. I mean, 70 finishing isn't the worst for a centre mid, right? Especially kind of like a holding CDM like Renato Sanchez might be for you. But Renato Sanchez, guys, is absolutely fantastic in the uh, new Ultimate team. That is obviously FIFA 21. So maybe give him a try as well, man. Like, he is incredible. To let you guys know as well, Bacambo might be good as well. Renato Sanchez's base card is also definitely worth a pick up. Like, his, his base card, guys, is very, very fun to use in FIFA 21. So maybe you've got like a cheap team or even like a, I mean, how much is he right now? Even like a uh, main team, I, w I might get Renato Sanchez, guys, for my ultimate team bench. I mean, 7K for these stats is insane. And also, another big tip as well, I would honestly avoid doing the SBC. That is Axel Witzel. You might be like, oh, but his card looks great and stuff. For me, honestly, you got to think about it, right? If you get Witzel for the price of, I think he's like, what is he, 160K right now? according to Footbin, I do believe. So, yeah, Renato Sanchez, guys, is this price, right? He is... Sorry, Axel Witzel. Sanchez is 8K. I'm trying to compare the both. Axel Witzel is 140K, 156K on Xbox. I honestly feel like this card is not worth it for this period of FIFA. I'm not a big fan of his defending or physical. Um, I love the card design. It might be the best card design I've ever seen, but... You can get Lorente for 20k. You can get Valverde for a good price right now, considering how good his card is. I don't like this card for you right now, guys. Honestly, I'm always going to be really brutally honest with you, right? In regards to um, well, anything but FIFA um, players to get as well is a big one. But another big reason why I don't like it, I know you get packs, but these packs are not good. Years ago, this would have been probably like a rare player pack. That might have been like maybe a 25k pack. That might have been maybe 15k pack. They've nerfed the packs, and I don't like the rewards. If they were good rewards, and it was like maybe 80k for Witzel, I'd say, yeah. For me, I think yeah, I should have given you two panels, not three, is what I'd say. But hopefully, this helped you guys out with your weekend league team. Let me know how your weekend league team is shaping up to be. We're going to make, obviously, a lot of coins today, guys. We have also sold someone else out on the market. That's brilliant news again. And we continue to grind, man. So very excited for the Road to Glory, guys. I will be streaming, obviously, a lot of the RTG right now on Twitch as well and be streaming the new Weekend League this weekend. But as you can see, nearly 500k here, guys. We're making moves on the RTG. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the new series. Hero, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, take care, guys.